Alrighty, so it's finally week number seven. Doesn't even feel like I've been here for seven weeks. But anyways, let's get straight to it. This weekend, I was actually supposed to come back home to my city, but I ended up having to reschedule my with a dance appointment, which I was mad that we had to reschedule, but maybe it's a blessing I didn't go back. God knows what would have happened. And at the same time, I had fun. I, this weekend, I went to go play basketball with my roommate, and we had a lot of fun. It was a pretty harsh game. He beat me by three points, and it was really enjoyable. Another thing that's coming up are midterms. I swear, it feels like just yesterday I was walking into school and now I'm already taking midterms. And the weird thing is, it feels like I haven't learned anything, but at the same time, I've learned so much. I just don't know it. That's weird. It didn't make sense, but it did at the same time, you know? <laughs> but seriously, I'm about to take midterms and it's crazy. We're in week number seven and things have taken off. The crazy part is it doesn't even feel like we've done that many assignments, even though we have. And I'm not really scared of any of the classes of that I'm going to fail any of the midterms. I mean, I feel like I've gotten used to Business 1950. I don't have to worry about that class. But the only class that has me a little shaky, not scared shaky, but just a little curious, is my African American Studies class. Because her class is one of those classes where you don't get any homework. I mean, we've had like one homework assignment, but she doesn't really give you any homework. It's all really just take notes in class, even though the PowerPoints are online, and then we just have tests. And those classes are the ones that, are, that I'm a little iffy on because it's like, you don't have any assignments to get points from, so it's like, you pass the test, you pass the class. You fail a test, you might fail the class. It's kind of like a 50-50 with those classes, in my opinion, because if you don't really have a much assignments, then that means you don't really have that many chances to gain points. But, likewise, if you have less assignments and only tests, that means all you have to do is pass a test, you pass a class, boom. And to be honest, you really don't even need to go to that class. You don't really don't. Many people don't even show up, and I'm pretty sure some of them have an A. But it's still, the discussions we have, like, I've actually been learning a really... Like, I've actually learned a lot from that class, and I've really learned more about my culture a little bit, you know? Part of this new week is that it's finally October, my favorite month of the year, because it's finally fall, ready to give my all. But I'm really hyped because the leaves are finally changing the colors and all that other good stuff. I'm hyped. FAFSA opened up yesterday, so I'm gonna go to a workshop to get that done today, cause you know. Plus I'm ready, this is my month. I'm turning 18, I'm finally going to finish something I started years, years ago, and that's going to be my biggest accomplishment of my life up to now. In fact, the only thing I can really think of that has me down the doubts is that my school hasn't sent me the scholarship money that I won and my tuition is due at no on November 1st, so I don't know why they're stalling. Hopefully if they're seeing this video, which some of them are, they can send it already. I don't know why they're taking forever. It's like they don't want me to go to college. And if that was the case, I shouldn't have won the scholarship. I got away from the area for a reason and you know, that's one of the reasons. So hopefully they send it before my deadline or, oh well. Oh, and I forgot to mention, since it's October 2nd, I'm playing the Star Gold for this entire month. As you already know, I have an Apple Watch, so I keep track of how many calories I burn, how much I exercise, and how many hours I stand per day. So my goal for the month of October is to fill my activity rings every single day. And so far, I've been killing it. Another goal for this month is that I'm going to apply to at least 20 scholarships by the end of this month. My mentor keeps telling me one a day, but my goal is to apply to at least 20 different scholarships by October 31st, by Halloween. Is it reasonable? Yes. Can I do it? Obviously. And we set goals so we can achieve it. So I believe I can achieve both of these goals. And it's kind of cool. So that means by the end of this month, I will have burned 31,000 calories plus. And my, another goal I'm going to have is that by the end of the week, I will from now on have three swipes remaining on my Panda card out of the 10 I get. That way I know I'm going to start cooking more and going to the dining hall less. Why? Because I have goals and I intend to reach them. So let's get it. Finally, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all that good stuff. You know how it is. <laughs>